and this is from the uh, New Energy Systems Trust. We had their founder on not too long ago, Sterling Allen. MSV Explorer amphibious vehicle powered by free energy technology poised to be first to general market. British inventor and CEO Chris Garner has come up with the MSV Explorer, an amphibious vehicle that not only treks on land and through water, but is powered by an exotic free energy method that Chris Garner calls super high performance electromechanical gyro generator system. And we have some photos there. Basically, it has treads so it can ride over the sand. And then when you get to water, you can go into water and then the bubble down there pops down and you can actually kind of cruise around the ocean looking at the sights. Really amazing. Um, Garner refers to his type of energy that is supplies self-sustaining energy. It says the MSVEX have designed a super high performance electromechanical gyro generator system that according to all data can produce more energy than is required to power it. Accordingly, we are on the edge of a breakthrough in achieving a self-sustaining energy source. This guy envisions this to be used in these type of vehicles, also in floating islands that can move on their own, have their own power. And he came up with this when he had a close encounter with a shark and, he, and he, he wanted to create a system that would allow people to cruise around the ocean and look at the sights there, you know, basically without getting wet. Whilst the MSVX looks like a mini sub, it is in fact an electrically powered dual joystick controlled dry cockpit surface watercraft meticulously designed and engineered to place two observers within an acrylic cockpit below the surface of the ocean at a constant 1.2 meters with a topside principal pilot seat. Truly interesting. I can't wait to see this in action. I can't wait to get Sterling Allen on to talk about it, and we'll probably get him, in on, him on in the new year. And this last piece, the vaunted hover bike. I've been talking about hover cars for a long time, and, and now we have a guy in, um, there it is right there, in Australia who's come up with this amazing piece of equipment. Um, it's got an airspeed of around 120 KIAS. That's untested. That's kilometers uh, hovers around 10,000 feet, estimated it's a dry weight of 110 kilograms, a max gross weight of 270 kilograms, total thrust of 295 kilograms, and an engine of 7,500 RPMs. It's got two little rotors there. You can see it in action there. And we definitely want to get this owner on. He said it's not ready for market yet. He's placing that stuff in there, and you can go to HTTP http colon forward slash forward slash hover dash bike dot com that's hover dash bike dot com to take a look at the hover bike and there's the site there and uh really amazing so he's gone at the hover bike there's a prototype and um let's see what the future holds christy itar here for a planet infowars update I know it's been a little while. I apologize. We have moved studios. We've expanded. There's been a little bit of a, a shift going on. So um, I just want to make this real quick. We've had several contests, actually, um, starting with the Bob Costas thinking that he is, you know, end all to end all, saying, <laughs> saying that the Second Amendment should be restricted. Well, the mission, actually, that I want to talk to you about is a Planet Infowars mission in the resistance group. And um, guns causing crimes is, is like spoons causing you to get fat. So the mission is for everyone to send a letter to Bob Costas and send him a spoon. And the contest actually is videotaping yourself, writing a letter. Um, now, obviously, uh, there is a little humor in here, so I, I hope to laugh. I expect to laugh at some of these. Uh, and send him a spoon, because we just want him to have piles of spoons. Um, how ridiculous his comments on the Second Amendment were. Uh, so go take that go take that, and make me laugh. Um, and then the next, actually, that I wanted to talk to you about is in the Infowar video reports. And this we had here in Austin, Texas, the drone mob, where we use the hashtag on Twitter, drone mob. And um, basically, if you were there and you filmed, we want you to go and edit your video. It doesn't even have to be that long, but whoever has the best drone mob video is going to win $1,000. Um, 
So both of these are video contests. Both of these are just you getting active. Uh, I apologize if you couldn't make it to Austin, but hopefully we'll be getting to do more cool events like this in the future. Um, and also, there's actually on Infowars.com, there's more about the drone mob contest and exactly the deadline is the 21st and I want to say it's at midnight. So go check out those details and um, get those awesome videos in because people need to know what we're, what we're up against. The drones are not a joke. This isn't going away. Um, this is an awareness campaign, so keep that in mind as well. And um, lastly, on a little, a little lighter note, um, this has kind of been an ongoing romance. I've actually mentioned these two before. Um, Herbic07 and Lady Liberty are both Planet InfoWars users, and um, they sent me their picture. They actually have visited each other several times now, and um, I want to say probably six months or so. Um, and they actually met in the Freedom Lovers group there on Planet InfoWars. So it can happen to you. And since we're all moving into the holidays and it's, you know, it's cold, you want somebody to cozy up with, um, especially people that, you know, understand and believe and, and um, are aware like you are. So go check that out. It's not a dud, I promise. You can find love um, <laughs> in this patriot world. Um, so thank you again, Planet InfoWars users, for all you're doing. Uh, hopefully we'll get an Ask Alex segment here soon. Um, keep up the great work and um, keep talking because we're listening.